lives in some asteroids or one asteroid, Vesta, and um, in dwarf planet, Ceres and Pluto. But I haven't shown you the comet. So, um, so let me just uh, use the remaining five minutes or so just uh, showing comet. Um, because uh, it's a, uh, uh, comets are fun. Um, they <laughs> inspire um, end of the world cult. And I mean, I, I think there's a reason for that. Um, so, okay, so this is the default, well, not default, I actually said it here. Okay, uh, this is view of the earth right now. Uh, <laughs> um, and uh, let me just uh, look for the most uh, famous uh, comet there is. Um, we believe its uh, original discovery was prehistoric, as in people knew about it before there were any written records. Uh, but it's uh, named after, I think his name is Edmund Haley. Um, so it's Haley Comet, Haley's Comet. And it's named after him because he was the one who recognized the periodicity of the comet. So let's uh, turn our view and look for that comment here. Um, uh, there it is. Yeah. So that's the comment. Um, can we tell the distance? Um, yeah. So right now, the comment is at its uh, part of the orbit where it's super far, um, 36 astronomical units away from Earth. Um, so it's uh, something that you simply wouldn't see. I think even if you had a uh, telescope uh, pointed right at it. I think it's so far, so small and so far from the sun that any reflected light from the sun, it's uh, simply not gonna be <laughs> enough to see. So um, let's see. Um, let me first go to the comet just so that you can see um, what that comet looks like. I don't know if we have any close by uh, close up photo of the comet. So uh, just a bit of a disclaimer that I don't know if that is what you're going to see soon. If that is how the uh, Halley's comet actually appears. I don't know if these features are uh, artist rendering or actual features of Halley's comet. <laughs> so, um, so, you know, don't Unless you uh, look up something from NASA that shows like this, these exact craters may not exist on Halley's Comet. Uh, but the general feature that is accurate that I want to highlight is one, um, the orbit of Comet. So most comets are characterized by having a very elliptical orbit. So let me keep zooming out. I need to zoom out further and further. Uh, wait, am I zooming out still? Okay, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, so that's a comet orbit. L let me put it into the view where, um, yeah, so I'm gonna be in the view where the, um, so this is the sort of the top down view of the solar system and the, the orbit of comet is Usually, it, one, it's elliptical, and two, it's uh, um, very often out of the plane of uh, a solar system. Yeah. So I'm looking at the solar system edge on. So those lines are uh, orbits of major planets that lie mostly within the plane of solar system that also is related to the ecliptic. Um, comets, they, uh, they veer far from the plane. Um, it's, um, it, it's, I mean, this, occasionally they might lie within the plane, but that would be just by chance. You can see with the Halley's Comet, it's um, certainly, so from time to time it comes close to the sun and is visible, but most of the time it's outside of the plane and it's a very, um, um, it, it's very unlike um, planet or even asteroids. Uh, we think uh, most of the comets come from the outer regions of the solar system, uh, called, called Oort, Oort cloud, Oort cloud, spelled with O O R T. So, um, so this view of comet is very uh, unexciting. So let me just uh, uh, let's uh, 
let's advance the time until the comet uh, looks more interesting. And um, the as you can see here, the orbital period is pretty large, so we need to speed up the time a lot faster. Because um, so 75 years its orbit, and the interesting things with the comet happens when it's close to the sun. Um, okay. Still going. Gotta go faster. All right. Uh, So Halley's Comet, I think last came nearby uh, in the 80s. So it'll be quite some time uh, before it comes close enough where things begin to change and the comet begins to become visible. So this is in the year 2060. Um, and yeah, let me just slow down a little bit more so that I have more time to talk. So, okay, let me just zoom out a little bit. Yeah, so this is the, as the comet gets, uh, so comet has a core that's made up of ice. Um, and as the comet gets closer to the sun, this is when it develops its characteristic tail uh, from the material making up the comet heating up and outgassing. And this uh, tail of comet, it's uh, um, unlike what one might assume without knowing anything about comet, it doesn't actually, you know, it doesn't go along the path of comet. It actually points away from the sun. So sun is over there, comet is here. That, um, so the tail is directly uh, pointing away from the sun. So yeah, that's, and that's where comet gets its name. I think in Latin comet means hair or something. It looks like a hair. And um, when you observe a comet in the night sky, it's a very distinctive object. And, and I think the reason Halley's Comet um, is often associated with end of world sentiment uh, is, you know, it comes around every 75 years or so. So each time it comes around, it would be the only time in someone's lifetime they would have seen it. So, so, you know, it's something that's never happened before <laughs> and looks unusual. So it looks ominous. So, so yeah, that's a, a Halley's a comet. So where we, it is right now, um, so it's uh, about at the distance of Earth orbit, you know, Mercury, Venus, Earth, this is Earth orbit. So around here, it would be begin to be visible, although, you'd have to carefully align <laughs> um, where, so if it's too close to the sun, you probably can't see it. Uh, you might have to wait until when it's at a part of its orbit where it's uh, far enough from the sun as uh, seen from earth uh, so that you can see it at night. Oh, and at some point, I think, uh, um, so, the exact reasons, I don't know if I remember correctly, but this uh, two uh, tail, it's a distinctive shape that comet to develop. I um, think uh, it might have to do with the different uh, um, materials that are outgassing. So this uh, uh, more straight, uh, the tail that's uh, pointing more straight uh, from the sun might be the less dense material that's outgassing at higher velocity and the tail that's uh, somewhat trailing the motion of the comet might be the more dense material. But this two tail shape is something that's clearly visible for many of the comets and people have seen it. Um, so yeah, that's a Halley's Comet. It will, uh, let me just speed up. It will do a, a perihelion around the sun. This is the place where we would be able to see it. And then it'll go away. And um, and in the geological time scale, comets are very uh, transient things. You can kind of imagine it here. It's uh, those uh, tails that develop, it's from outgassing of material. So even if nothing catastrophic happened to the comet, over time, um, it, it would, uh, the ice will melt um, because it, uh, the dirty snowball that comet is, each time it's coming close to the sun, it's uh, some of the materials boiling off from the surface of the comet. So, 
Uh, so that's for one reason. And the second, because it's uh, in this uh, kind of elliptical, irregular orbit over geological time scale, there's some chance that it will collide with uh, one of the major planets or it will get deflected from its orbit. So each of these close encounters are something that could uh, shorten the life of comet. Um, in fact, I think back in the 90s, 1994, there was a collision of a comet Shoemaker-Levy with Jupiter that I think um, was supposed to produce spectacular view. You can probably find the images of that. Uh, let me just uh, look at one more comet since we are on this view. I think Haley, um, is it, it's Bob something. Um, uh, Hale Bob, I think Hale Bob is the, um, yeah. Oh, I misspelled the Bob, that's why. Where's my mouse? Um, okay, hell, but yeah, I think there was an actual doomsday cult <laughs> that was associated with this comet. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, uh, the comets are in a very super elliptical orbit. And um, so this, I think it has an even larger period than Halley's Comet. It has uh, 2,500 year um, orbit. So uh, let me actually, turn the time backward because uh, I think um, there's no chance of, is this the backward thing? It's okay, yeah. So I'm running the time backward uh, and we're gonna see last time Hale-Bob came close to the inner part of the solar system. But yeah, and it's on the super elliptical orbit. Um, so, you know, if you didn't see Hale-Bob, Last time it was close to us, um, you won't see it in your lifetime. Okay, okay, let's zoom in. Let me center the comet. Oops. Um, wait, what? Oh, oh, I see. I gotta. Yeah, it's gonna show help up super up close and I'll zoom out. Uh, yeah, so okay, so this is where it's close enough to have developed the tail and ah, okay. So last uh, perihelion of Hale Bob was in, yeah, nine, 90s. That's I think uh, when I remember reading about the doomsday cult around the Hale Bob. So anyways, um, that's, I think all, um, um, and I guess if there are things people want to see uh, with this, games, less simulation, let me know. Um, there are other things that I think I can show that relates to module four um, that I'll do this week. But uh, if there are other things about the solar system you wanna see, let me know and I'm always happy to do it, so.